This really changed the way that I view gaming laptops. Today I've partnered with Lenovo and Intel to show you one of my favorite laptops I've used this year, the Lenovo Legion 7i. And it packs all of the power that you need in this thin and beautiful metal chassis. Most thinner laptops have to sacrifice performance to make it more portable, but this one is different. And with some of the sales that I've seen on it, it makes it even more compelling. Yes, I know that Meteor Lake laptops are coming up, but this means killer deals on the current lineup. So I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can check current pricing. You may be pleasantly surprise. Let's talk about it. First, for the unboxing fans, here's what comes in the box, of course, the laptop itself. And you also get a little bit of bathroom reading, but it's kept to a minimum, so respect to Lenovo on that. Then in a separate box, you get a power cable, and then you get a slim charging brick that is easier to carry with you. That is 230 watts, so that is impressive. You can customize the spec of this laptop on the website. There's a ton of choices, but I'll share the experience with the configuration that I have right now. First, let's talk about the design and the build of this thing. The all metal body makes it feel like a premium laptop. There's a little bit of flex if you're really, really looking for it, but this feels really great. I love the way that the hinge feels. It's so sturdy. Might even be a little harder to move, but I personally love it because it's really secure at all angles and it does fold all the way flat if you need it to. I love this little lip here on the lid that makes it so easy to open and it 100% passes the one finger open test, which is great. This looks pretty much the same as last year, but I'm appreciating the design for the first time. They even lit up the back section so you know exactly where your ports are, and this is fairly light as well at 4.4 pounds, so it easily fits in a backpack. Even though it does have a spacious 16-inch display, I have the 240 hertz 2560 by 1600 display, but you can spec it all the way up to a 3.2K 165 hertz version. But if you're a gamer, I would probably stick to the lower resolution because it is 100 nits brighter, but if you do professional work, that extra resolution might be worth it but the one that i have here looks great for content creation as well and the panel is nice and color accurate so i don't think you'll be disappointed with either and the bezels are nice and thin with anti-glare just know that it's not a touch screen not a big deal to me but i thought i would mention it what I appreciate about this laptop is that it was built for gaming, but it's also a good everyday laptop. And that's important because you want to get the most versatile machine that you can get for your money. To get into the laptop is super easy, nice centered fingerprint scanner, and it works very well. There is a 1080p front facing camera, but it doesn't support Windows Hello, if you were wondering. I am happy to inform you that the keyboard is fantastic, appropriate feedback. It feels really comfortable, even with the number row there on the right side, and typing on it for hours is no problem. And you get all kinds of customization through Lenovo Vantage. You can go through all of the presets and change them how you see fit, or you can just use the keyboard shortcut to cycle through the six different presets and included are just backlighting for everyday use, or you can just turn it off. I personally like the rear ports because it's so much cleaner on a desk for cable management, but even if you don't like them, you get plenty of ports. You get a power port, a full-size HDMI 2.1 port, so a TV or a monitor gaming is no issue, and three USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 ports. The sides are half taken up by the ventilation cutouts, but on the side you get a Thunderbolt 4 port, a USB-C 3.2 port with DisplayPort 1.4, and a 140 watt power delivery, which is great, and a combo audio jack, and on the other side you get a dedicated eShutter button so you can switch off the camera easily for privacy and also a full-size SD card slot which is perfect for content creators and photographers. If I had to knock anything on this laptop it is the down firing speakers. This grill up here is not for the speakers but for air ventilation. While it's not bad whatsoever it does sound a little bit tinny but if you're a serious gamer then you're probably going to use headsets anyway but for casual gaming it's just fine. The spec that I have on my Lenovo Legion Slim 7i is powered by the 13th gen Intel Core i9-13900H processor, which is the high-end spec when it comes to this generation. The base is the Core i7-13700H, which will perform at a high level since they both have 14 total cores. But that higher clock speed will help you with more demanding CPU programs like Photoshop. But I have this paired with an NVIDIA 4070 GPU, which I think is a sweet spot for the price for performance ratio, especially when it comes to gaming. But you can go all the way up to a 4090 if you want. If you remove the backplate, which is very easy to do by the way, you can see the soldered RAM, which is 16 gigabytes on this configuration, but no worries, you can add another 16 gigabytes yourself if you need to later. It's also super reasonable on the Lenovo website on the configurator, I think it's like $50. And on this machine, I have a one terabyte SSD, but look here, super easy to add more storage yourself. So the upgradability is simple, which I'm going to do very soon. Like I stated earlier, the laptop is powered by the 13th gen Intel Core i9-13900H with 14 total cores, six performance cores and eight efficiency cores. So this means fantastic performance when it comes to gaming, but also means it's a great everyday laptop just for web browsing, productivity software, and watching movies. 
The Intel Thread Director allocates where the power goes, so if you're just doing day-to-day -day tasks, it's going to help you stretch that battery life as long as possible. But when it's time to turn up with AAA game titles, you can easily do that. Just fire it up and the system will know exactly what to do to get the best performance without slowdowns, even if you didn't close out all of the apps and browsers. I found Wi-Fi speeds to be very solid with Wi-Fi 6E built-in. Fast networking is key to gaming, and in my experience, this has been consistent. So hardware-wise, this thing rocks. So if you want to see some benchmarks, here you go. Very respectable scores on Cinebench multi-core and single core. So the Intel Core i9-13900H's performance won't disappoint. Here are the Geekbench 6 scores, single core and multi core. They're up there. And of course, this is with the system plugged in. This is where you're going to get the best performance. But here is the test without it being plugged in, just for reference. I ran 3D Mark's Wildlife Extreme Test, and here is the score. Definitely solid. And here is the storage test 3D Mark offers if you're interested in seeing that. But the 1 terabyte SSD that is in this machine has very solid read and write speeds, according to Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. So good performance all around when it comes to this system. When it comes to gaming, this is where it surprised me. Combo of the Intel chipset and NVIDIA's RTX 4070 I think is the best value per performance ratio here. Of course, the game that will never die, Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the highest graphics setting and on the benchmark, I was getting over 100 frames per second. And I have to say, this matte display looks really good on this laptop. On the benchmark finish, it averaged 121 frames per second, so very solid. I was seeing these frame rates on actual gameplay as well, but let's move on to something a little more demanding. Next up is Doom Eternal, and this was really cooking, silky smooth. This is on Ultra Nightmare with HDR on, and I was getting in the upper 100s and 200 frames per second constantly at this native resolution. So if you're a fan of this game, you're going to really enjoy it on this machine. I know Street Fighter 6 isn't the most graphically intensive game, but this also ran at a constant 60 frames per second, so you're not going to have any issues running this game. I'm definitely late on the Red Dead Redemption 2, but hey, it was on sale on Black Friday for like 18 bucks, so I had to pick it up. This is running very close or at 60 frames per second the entire time I played it so anything I was throwing at it the experience was good. I am absolutely terrible at Baldur's Gate 3 but the game itself ran fantastic so if you pick up this laptop you'll have no problem with performance. I was able to play everything that I wanted to. The fan noise can get loud under the performance setting but that is expected and this laptop does a great job with dissipating heat. You can see that it does get warm in the center of the laptop but it does push out that heat well on the sides and the back of the laptop so sustained performance is there. So to wrap it up, I think this is such a well-rounded machine. It was built for gaming, but it's such a good everyday laptop as well. For content creators out there, you will get great performance with creative work like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. It has a clean design, and I think that it strikes the perfect balance between gaming aesthetic and a modern laptop. I'm going to leave a link down below if you want to pick one up. Make sure you check current pricing because you never know when they'll go on sale. Let me know what you think about this laptop. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one.